The local backlash is growing over the Jaguars' actions during the national anthem last Sunday. Good evening. I'm Lorena Inkland. I'm John Bachman. Some fans are dumping their team gear, even burning it. Others are demanding season ticket refunds. Action News Jack's Amber Kriska is live at Everbank Field. And Amber, the team isn't sure what players will do during the anthem on Sunday in New York. But some fans aren't waiting to hear. I spoke to one couple who cut all their team gear and placed it on this Jaguar statue just outside the stadium and stuck an American flag in it. They say they are done and won't be coming back to the bank. Bill Cutler and his wife Mary have been season ticket holders since the very beginning. This is it. The end. They say they are done with the Jags. Here we go. The end. The end of Jag Go after 21 years. This afternoon, they took all of their Jaguars memorabilia to the stadium. Cut it up so that no one could actually use it, put it on the Jaguar, and stuck an American flag in it. Some local restaurants and bars are even boycotting NFL games. There's a Boycott Jacksonville Jags Facebook page where dozens of people say they no longer want their season tickets. We asked the team if they would be giving season ticket refunds. Their statement reads in part, Our goal is to provide personalized service and a world-class game day experience to all fans. And as such, we treat each situation on an individual case-by-case -case basis. And coming up at 11, you'll hear from a local bar owner who is refusing to play NFL at his bar, but why he says business will be good. Reporting live downtown at Everbank, Amber Chris, Fox 30, Action News, Jax. Protests on the NFL sidelines are not done yet, and that has many fans frustrated. Good evening, I'm John Bachman. And I'm Lorena Inkland. Action News Jack's Amber Kriska is live at Everbank Field. Amber, the Jaguars aren't sure what the players plan to do Sunday, but some fans are already dumping their Jags gear and asking for ticket refunds. Yeah, and I spoke to one couple today who cut all their team gear and placed it right here on the Jaguar statue in front of the stadium. But I also talked to other fans today who say they will continue to support their Jags. At Harbor Tavern, no one is watching NFL games. No NFL at any time. Other local restaurants are doing the same. Here we go. The end. The end of Jag Go after 21 years. Bill Cutler and his wife Mary have been season ticket holders from the start, but they tell me they are done with the Jags. <laughs> This afternoon, they took all their Jaguars memorabilia to the stadium. This is it. The end. There's even a boycott Jacksonville Jags Facebook page where dozens of people say they no longer want their season tickets. We asked the team if they would be giving season ticket refunds. Their statement reads in part, our goal is to provide personalized service and a world-class game day experience to all fans. And as such, we treat each situation on an individual case-by-case -case basis. But some fans say they'll continue supporting the Jags no matter what. And I, I never turn my back on them. I never turn my back on them. I wouldn't take my ticket back or... I canceled my season tickets. Just like we're saying, I'm a die-hard fan when it comes to Jaguars. And the owner of Harbor Tavern tells me he's been getting positive feedback about his decision to not show NFL games. He says if the players stand during the national anthem, he'll most likely bring the games back. Reporting live at Everbank, Amber Chris, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax. And tonight, we're asking you, should TV networks show player protests during the national anthem? You can still vote on actionnewsjacks.com slash vote. Right now, roughly three out of four say TV networks should not show the protests.